Have you noticed that no matter how softly or loudly I talk, it always kind of catches the camera by surprise, and it sounds like I come on full blast, and then it eventually uh, adjusts. Have you noticed that? I've noticed that. Here's to you. I've noticed a lot about... Uh, you know what? I need to log that. I'll be right back. Go visit crz.net and find out uh, when I log this. Oh, man. Another late Friday. 646. Official temperature is 28 degrees. Temperature has plummeted in the past couple hours. It got close to 40. I don't know if it hit it or not. Looking forward to Tuesday, where they threaten a high of 50, which means I will definitely be wearing shorts, and I will definitely show off my knees. So tune in Tuesday. But before then, chuckles. One more day to get through and one more video. I took a look at the stats for this week, and I'm not 100% sure how YouTube works with how up-to-date or in real time or whatever lag there is for stats. But if I look at the videos for this week, Monday, 33 views. Tuesday, 35 views. Wednesday, 25 views. Thursday, 20 views. So, what does that tell us? It doesn't tell us really anything. Let's look at the four from last week. Tuesday, 44. Wednesday, 38. Thursday, 41. Friday, 31. So, it takes people a while. Or it takes a while for the lag to catch up. But it looks like about 40 people. Well, let's go back one more week. And apparently I only did four that week too. Oh, that's right, because I took Valentine's Day off. Monday, 62. Wednesday, 53. Thursday, 52. Friday, 51. So there may be 50 people out there watching these. Just takes them a couple weeks before they catch up. Or they've lost interest, and I've, I've lost half the people who were watching this over the course of the past couple weeks, probably from rambling or from playing annoying music under me, which I haven't done today and don't have any ready. Or I've gotten too meta, and I'm getting even more meta right now, actually. <laughs> Pardon me. Ah, I think I just got five viewers back. I know how it works. I have one comment from Penny on Facebook. Let's see how long I can milk it. Phil, thank you for the like, by the way. It's good to know you're still out there. So you're, you're one of the 50 people, I can tell. But I was talking about writing 2011 on checks and how no one wrote checks anymore. And actually, I write two checks a month. The only two bills I can't pay online. One is the electricity bill. Which seems weird. You think they would be on a cutting edge, but no, Excel can't figure it out. Probably because whichever power company they bought, they still haven't amalgamated them all together. Or is it uh, Minigasco bought by. Mm. Who's the gas company? Come on, you know this. Is that Excel? No. Excel bought Northern States Power Company, and then Minigasco was bought by, I will Google it, Center, uh, CenterPoint. I knew that. See, the reason I don't know it's CenterPoint is because I'm not writing CenterPoint on a check every month. I'm paying it online. Anyway, so Excel, the electricity bill, and ironically enough, the house payment, the largest thing I have to pay every month, and I can't do it online because Wells Fargo hates me. We can pay the second mortgage, but we can't pay the first one. The second mortgage is tiny. It's a long story. Anyway, Penny writes checks for her girls when they say, oh, by the way, I need money for today and fundraisers. That's pretty smart because it's hard to cash a check. So it'll probably go to the fundraiser instead of uh, into your kids' pockets. That's pretty sneaky. It's good stuff. 
Do you remember playing Ditch back in we won't say what year? I don't want to. I don't want to ruin your memories of me, but I didn't ditch. I never ditched. Occasionally, we would make a death run to the grocery store and back during the period that we were TAs, but there was no ditching. I did not skip any classes. I couldn't skip classes my senior year. I, I got mono and missed like two weeks, and that just threw me off the whole year. Ah, yes, my senior year, the greatest year of, well, once I got well, it was better. But for me, senior year was all, got my first contacts, and the braces came off. So, like, yeah, I was pretty smooth. I was also 110 pounds, thanks to the mono, so good times. I love Dukes of Hazard. Good. Everybody, loves, everybody should love Dukes of Hazard. Everybody who's an American, anyway. Did you know that the, there was, they were going to drive the General Lee as a pace car? this year, but NASCAR said we're uncomfortable about that stars and bars on it, so we don't want to let that happen because we don't want to reinforce the stereotype that all NASCAR fans are rednecks who are possibly racist, so no generally. And that made the politician who was the guy who played Cooter really mad. So mad I can't remember his name. But he was Cooter. I think it's more offensive they had a character named Cooter, actually, now that I think about it. My pink shirt did not look pink, according to Penny. Yeah, I was afraid of that. And I didn't really get a good job of showing off the pattern. The pattern for today, by the way, this is a big dog shirt. The dogs are nestled amongst whatever colorful fruits and leaves these are. They're almost all upside down, which probably means this was an outlet buy. There's a right side up one. I bought this shirt in college. Should tell you how old it is. It was huge back then. It just fits now. So, kids, always buy six sizes too large so you can wear your clothes for decades. That's a good thrifty tip from Thrifty CRZ. Be careful buying salts. I think she means bath salts, not worth the money. Go to Trader Joe's or probably even Walmart. I don't use bath salts, like I said. I uh, I do have some kind of green goop that I put in there, which I inherited from my wife. And she always likes it because it makes me smell like whatever that stuff is. Not that I don't smell okay on my own, but it's just different when I've taken a bath. It sounds kind of romantic now that I talk about it. Woo! Go home to my wife. Why am I here? Penny has never or never will watch Dancing with Stars. Good for you. You and me both. I think Doug's going to watch it, though, and I think Doug will probably tweet about it, and then maybe I can con him into writing one report on the W, and then when no one responds to it, he will stop. I hope Doug is still watching so he can confirm or deny all this, which he will do on Twitter. And then I will forget to mention it because I'm bad about monitoring Twitter for comments about videos because I don't really get any. Actually, and I'm just about out of time. Wow, I really didn't up that thing. Thank you, Penny. Thanks for talking to me. And thanks, Phil, for the like. And thanks, Kevin, for continuing to plus one this on Google Plus uh, when I remember to post it. I'll do a quick check of Twitter to see if there are any tweets I need to address. No. Hello, Jeff. Uh, Dan probably isn't watching these, I hope. Bot. Bot. Spam. Do you think all these spam bots are good for my cloud score? I wonder. Are you on cloud? Would you like some free plus K from me because I never know who to give it to? Do you know what cloud is? K-L-O-U-T dot com. Look it up. Dave does if he's watching. Dave Hoag. All right. This week is over. This is episode 42. No sign of slowing down. Except right now. I got one more burp in me. <laughs> Remix that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending almost an hour, all told, when you add up all five videos this week. I hope I've made it worth your while. If I haven't, please let me know how I can do better or stop watching. Your choice.
or both. You know, it's a free country. I love you. I do. And I hope to see you uh, coming back next week. Um, but how am I going to know? I'm just a video. Ciao.